I am sitting here, everybody, trying to bask in the sunshine. Unfortunately, there's a really chilly breeze blowing from the south. But that is our first herd of buffalo for goodness knows how long. It is a vast herd of buffalo standing on Mala Mala. Unfortunately, not over here on Cheetah Plains, but it's coming this way. So it might eventually spend a bit of time over here on Cheetah Plains. Isn't that nice to see? So they're coming up from the south now. The plains of the southern Sabi sand, where the gabbro has given rise to huge swathes of red grass, which is very good for the buffalo, has now turned to straw. And so the buffalo are now coming back towards the north in what I suppose might be described as a localized migration. Although it's certainly not anything like what the migrations in this area used to be. Isn't that nice? The colors are also very beautiful. The yellowy, yellowy green late summer grass with the dark jet black buffalo just sort of floating through it like small boats. Hello cat studies, you're wondering if those are Cape Buffalo or not. Well yes, they are called Cape Buffalo. They are not called water buffalo. Those are found in Asia and often people come here and say, oh there's a water buffalo and we have to say patiently, no it is not a water buffalo, it is a Cape Buffalo as Cat Studies has pointed out to us. I don't use the term Cape very often, I don't know why. Well I do know, it's because we know we're near the Cape but they are called Cape Buffalo, that's absolutely correct and I'm not sure why they're called Cape Buffalo as opposed to just African Buffalo because of course they're found all over Af Southern Africa into Central Africa and uh, of course into East Africa. Kirk, you say maybe we can see a kill here. Well, Kirk, may, may, maybe we can. Kirk, uh, that is of course an eventuality that could occur any time out here. I think it's unlikely though because I think that those buffalo would be looking slightly more nervous if they were being surrounded by a pride of lions. It's not impossible that there is a coalition of male lions, the Birmingham boys in that area, uh, about to leap on one of them. I just think it's unlikely though. I don't think that they're around here at the moment. But that is an interesting thought, Kirk. I'm very pleased to see them back here. I must say it's been some time since we've spent any time with the buffalo. I thought of something crucial now and I've now forgotten what it was. What was I saying? Cape buffalo up into Central Africa, East Africa. No, it's gone. Uh, we will also see these things, of course, when we go to the Mara. And they there are much bigger horned wise than they are here. Otherwise they're the same size. But their horns tend to be much larger and heavily built than the horns here. Jason, what a nice question from you. And, uh, well, it really depends on your perspective. You say, can evolution make mistakes? Oh, there we are. There's some free advertising. Um, <laughs> evolution makes mistakes all the time. Most of them result in death. And therefore, <clears throat> the, the animal, you know, whatever mistake is made doesn't perpetuate. But it cannot make mistakes in terms of creating a species that shouldn't be there, for example. So, the evolution by, nat evolution by natural selection means that any mutation that causes an advantage will be passed on into the population, and that may eventually result in a new species. Uh, if that was a mistake, if there was any mistake 
from that point of view that if, if there was any mutation that did not confer an advantage, that did not give an advantage to the individual that received the mutation, then that individual would either die or be unable to reproduce as successfully as individuals that didn't have the mutation. And so from that perspective, no, evolution cannot make a mistake. Any animal that is alive today is exceptionally lucky, uh, not lucky, sorry, is an exceptional product of evolution. And where millions of others or millions of countless mutations have resulted in death, some have resulted in new species. Most of those new species have not survived up till now. So you can feel uh, very privileged to be part of the suite of species all the way from unicellular bacteria up to the complexity of our own brains and bodies. And what you find then is, um, <laughs> well, you know, despite how many millions of species there are here in the world, there have been countless other millions that have gone extinct. And so, no, evolution doesn't make mistakes. The climate can change and conditions can change, which can result in um, a certain species becoming extinct, but that's not an evolutionary mistake. Nice question, that. Let's head across to Tristan. He has managed to find something that probably came out of one end of a hyena. <laughs>